Hello and welcome to Pretty Watch Fisk Flur. Today we're gonna tie this little fancy fly, the balloon caddis. The balloon caddis is a very effective pattern. It's a uh, it's a caddis fly, and it's very good for uh, night fishing because of the yellow foam. It's you can see it very good. It floats like a charm. And it's very fast to tie, and I'm gonna show you how. So follow on. Okay, I start with taking this hook out of the vise and putting in a new one. This is a size 10. Attaching it securely, at attaching the thread. The first item is gonna go on and on is uh, is the wing. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. Just cover this well. I lied a little bit. Of course, the first item is gonna be the body, and then it's gonna use some tan dubbing, and then the wing is gonna go on. Attach some dubbing. And uh, I used ordinary tan tying thread for this. About that. Now we're gonna take the. We're gonna take. Well, I see now. I should have taken the body a little more down in the hook bed. I'm gonna fix that in an instant, like that. It's no harm if this body is gonna be a little fatter. Alright. like this if you want it to be even just take your time and move on there we have it now I'm gonna have a wing use some patch with deer here it's a coastal deer I snip it off a little bunch not too much but about this maybe a little less take take out the threads the hairs you don't want and be get rid of the fluff in between there find your hair stacker like this put it in tap on your desk and lift a little bit on this and make it horizontal see the tips are aligned check control of the tips measure out how long you want it like that and take your scissor and snip this baby off and attach it to the hook like this and wind backwards a little bit over this and you can use this method to make the hairs go a little more alongside the body now it's gonna have some foam I have this piece of uh, two millimeter craft foam here. I don't want all this long piece, so just snip it off. Touch it on the top. I have to get hold of it like this. Now wind thread back all to the hook eye. Get rid of this loose hairs that's sticking down 
all the way to the hook eye and just tie down like this now I'm gonna cover this piece here this uh, part of the body with some more rubbing and I start at the hook eye and move downward down to the end and well you can see now what I'm doing there you have it almost done I take this dubbing all the way this so it won't be any thin belly on this I want this uh, to look nice what remains now is to wind your foam backwards like this and attach it with some wrappings like that and you take your whip finisher make some whip finish on this and like this a snip off the time thread you can now take your scissor and just snip off this excess foam like that and control to get rid of any strays that's sticking down it's no it's not so many and if you want you can take your lacquer see if my bottle has not clogged up too much i have this thin metal thread to fix that problem i think that's gonna be okay now it's not it's I haven't been using this for so long, so well now it's totally totally okay. Well, there you have it, the balloon caddies. Of course, you can tie this fly in a different kind of colors. I chose this because uh, that works okay for me. But if you want, you can tie it, of course, in uh, rusty brown. You can even tie it in black if you want. Use your imagination. That was all I had for you today. Uh, I uh, thank you all for watching my videos. And uh, I advise you to subscribe to my channel. I will post uh, videos in... Uh, regularly uh, well today is was this balloon caddis and uh, i have also another fly coming up for you uh, very soon so keep subscribing uh, watch my videos uh, comments on my videos i'll try to answer every one of you so thank you all and uh, good night and tight lines bye bye